dreamscape? The atmosphere here creeps me out. What was that weird noise just now? Google Translate to get the pr uh, pronunciation right? Okay. It's a bit off, but it's synthesized, so. Uh, no. Impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it, and then you shall be granted an audience. This way! Can you see me? Over here! Please, come this way! The Dreamscape Hotel. Under construction. Please. Ah, you're here. Wonderful. Oh, I... Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. I wonder if Misha is a robot. Like a like a robot person, like a cyborg or something like that. That's like in all the different instances. There's like multiple cop there's like multiple Mishas. Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. Maybe not. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little run down. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. Like Zuyi, Yi? Yeah. Kind of like Zuyi. Yi. But maybe more like, mm, kind of like maybe like a Cortana or a Tubi kind of situation, right? Oh, you're asking about the reverie in the dream... You've perhaps read about it in your dream. Golden Hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penacony, and its time coincides with me. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical... True, Cortana is a hologram, but she was also based on, like, a person. So, like, what I'm saying is that maybe Misha in the dreamscape is, like, a hologram, right? But a dream version of him. But there are multiple versions of him. Did you find it in the room? I guess that's what I mean. Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? It was my mistake. I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. Don't don't worry about it, Misha. It's fine. You just go right through that door to reach Golden. I like Misha. I don't know. I just just nice 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 kid. Nice kid. Turns out he's the villain of the. Behind that would be door hilarious. Is the real Penacone. I'm looking forward to it. Am I? I am. I'll be honest, I am. They've hyped Pentaconi up so much at this point, I couldn't help but be looking forward to it. You know what I'm saying? Um. Oh, wow. Huh? Huh? Am I literally falling out of the sky? Um. Wow! <laughs> the Yamcha post you! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why did they do that? Why would they do that? That's so fucked up. They Yamcha posed you. <laughs> Straight up. No, straight up, that that exact pose is literally just the Yamcha in the in the crater pose. That's exactly it was framed exactly like it. You just superimpose it over it, it would be the exact same. That's fucking hilarious, actually. <laughs> are we in heaven or the fall didn't hurt at all? <laughs> well, you are in the dreamscape after all. It seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. So I guess if you die in the dream, you don't you don't dry, die in real life. Cool. <laughs> Rob, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. My friend. I mean, everyone wants to be my friend. I mean, she's cute, so I guess not. It was a slight nod to her brother, then locks her emerald gaze with yours. She smiles and you see ripples shimmering in the depths of her lake green eyes followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. Well, that's a very descriptive line about her eyes. Okay. 
Vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one with the fluidity of time and space. You resonate with and become attuned to the serene fusion of frequencies. Your heart drums, leading the symphony. Symphony. Mind control. So now fade away like a lullaby. Seven colored illusion delicately caresses the top of your head and closes your eyes. It's movement tender and compassionate. You feel contentment and drift into deep slumber. You open your eyes and feel a vitality like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant memory. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penelope. What if she has like mind power? She doesn't like sing with her voice. Maybe she sings with her mind, which is interesting. Maybe that's how she's always talking. Maybe it's actually like telepathy. Maybe she's actually mute. Which, if she is, oh, that would be cool. I, play, I have a character concept uh, that I've wanted to play at uh, tables before. That's basically a mute character that sings with, um, but can like sing or whatever. It's like the only way she can actually communicate. Kind of like uh, what's his face from uh, like Inhumans or whatever. Um, Black Bolt. Like when he talks, you know. It's Kind of thing. Anyways, um, da, 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 what does that mean? What did you just do to me? Did you just brainwash me? What was that sound just now? I merely changed your state of mind for you to feel more at ease. Uh, so mind control. Yes, cool. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. That's Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Or lucid dreaming, yeah. That's a great analogy, I get it now. This is deep. Does that mean I can love it in here? Thanks for the compliment. In fact, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Momoria. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world Wait, I'm in the works. Matrix. I am the one. My brain will reopen. It's a dream world. I can do whatever I want. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast! Do I get to travel around? No, of course, March immediately messages me. No. I'm liar. <laughs> yes, I'm lying. Leave me alone. I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> Well, I different groups. Case. I'm at the moment of dust. I'm planning to check out the auction. It's a pain to meet up again, so why don't we split up for now? Yay! Fantastic! <laughs> you are not free of texting and social media, even in the dream world, streamer. Facts. <sighs> the Dreamscape sales store. Should I visit it? So much dialogue from the main character. Genshin could never. This place is bustling. There are so many people living in the dreamscape. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Since for you is golden hour pinnacle, it's only your first appearance or the air stinks of capital. Love hate relationship. Hard to describe. I fell in love at first sight. Ah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I should clear my teeth higher than Bedge. Alright. Trailblazer, you have arrived at the incredible land of the dreams. There are four more achievements. I can, if I can stop one heart from breaking, the entire penny will go wild. Old friends, new friends, embrace the warmth of the ocean memories. Discover the serendipitous joy in dreamscape. Gentle listen to the name of Nocturne. See how shooting stars fly across the dream sky. Oof. That sounds like it'll be that the Sam versus Akron scene. I'm not gonna lie. Stars across the dream sky. Are those vehicles? 
Those are cool. How big is this map? Oh, quite big. All right, where are the chests? I found slow. I your soul. Here's your soul. Glad you always treated our loyal customers well. Sales rep. Awesome. Where's the chest? Oh wow, the sky. Wow, the um, the sky uh, dome is really fucking cool. Is it like rings? Are we on like one of the rings? Is that how that works? That would be kind of cool. Huh. Is this a trash can? Nope, nope, nope. Much like in all the areas I've gone to, I am skipping trash cans. Fuck that shit. I am not a trash panda. Stop it. I feel like they made those easier to click and move. I know I should be going on with the main story, but I'm just kind of curious. I assume this is me. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Feels very lived in. I like it. There's this. Broken dreams. Damn. Is there a downstairs level too? Oh shit. Can I drive Get hit by a car? Oh, is there an achievement? It's probably an achievement. Probably an achievement. If not... Got it. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> like how they actually avoid you, that's actually kind of funny. It usually doesn't happen. A knee slap in it, yep. Real and true. You can, okay, so the music is really good. You can hear a clock in the background. Every once in a while you can hear it clicking in the, in the sound. Checked off the list. Oh, I want so many layers. Chest down there. There's a chest down there. I'm gonna run back over there because I see it. As soon as I see it, I'm gonna get it. Violate traffic rules and get hit by a vehicle in Panacone. <laughs> nice. I like it. I don't like it. Alright, let's keep going. I wonder 
if you can get multiples of them to chase you around or something, there's like a way to do that. It was like a, probably an achievement for that. Perhaps. Floating ice cream? Checking the cone exists to be eaten. You have helped the cone fulfill its lifelong mission. And how can you stop at just having one cone? You put another cone in your mouth and savor it. While repeating the act of swallowing, you see again understanding a path of veracity. <laughs> veracity. Let's go. According to the map, that's the Dreamscape sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? Oh wow, this looks cool. According to the map, that's the Dreamscape sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? Very cool, very cool, very cool. Trailblazers from the asteroids. Welcome to Dreamscape sales store. It's me, the Dreamscape sales store. I also call my name Dr. Edward. <laughs> and I'm happy to be at your service. Why would I want to buy things in a dream? I mean, I can't. No, they said something earlier about about that. How they find a way to transfer it to reality or something. Here's where you get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes, from the top-notch productions of Clark Studios to private donations. <laughs> we have it all. If I'm not mistaken. Please be rest assured that Doctor Ed will provide the best service you can actually under my analysis. It's a contribution from an anonymous donor. It is said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Nakifini. I can assure you that this dream bubble is perfect for you. Okay. It's the magic of psychoanalysis. Well, let's begin. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. If we ever buy something in an online imaginary world, fake news would never happen. No, because, like, what I mean by, like, them shopping, like, because it sounds like they're going, like, I don't know, clothing shopping? I don't know if I'd buy clothes for me in a dream world expecting that they would be useful in real life. I don't know. That's That seems strange to me. I don't buy character skins being like, yeah, I'm going to put this on my girlfriend in real Like, I just don't. You know what I mean? That's more of what I was getting at. explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. Mind if I say some minor spoilers? I'll get explained to you soon. I mean, if it'll get explained to me soon, then I'm not going to worry about it. Are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it. Substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's sense. right to carry out volunteer work. Cars, unfortunately, not. This okay. place of thorough cleaning. At my apologies. When I received this dream, however, I. And make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for our civilians. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I will be able to replicate it from your subconscious. Well, it must be someone you're close to, unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. Well, please make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. I hate that March 7th is at the top. Because, like, that tells you everything about the game, right? They're like, yeah, you want to listen. You want to listen to March, you know. Like, they think you want to listen to March 7th talk. Myself and a different gender, of course. Wait a minute, what? You chose, well, I'm just super curious. Will I actually get the voice of the female uh, trailblazer for this? Because her voice is great. You know what? Your voice 
that will make it happy. The replication is complete. Now you can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape. Super curious. To you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct. You rode snowmobiles into the Tykean Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. I think Marshall audio, but my audio is in English. I think she's a bit better in JP. She probably is better in JP. I, like, oftentimes the more annoying characters in English don't sound annoying to me in other languages because I don't understand the language, right? I don't, the, the, the inflections of tone and the way they say things doesn't come across as well. This is why I think it's absolute, to me personally, I think it's absolute bullshit when someone is like, JP voices or Chinese voices are just so much better than English and all this other stuff. If you don't fucking understand the language, you genuinely have no context. You are missing like so much from a language you do not understand. Yeah, it sounds good because you're used to listening to it, but you are missing a lot of context. So it's just, it just is what it is. Like, you will always understand and hear things more and like understand them better in the language you actually understand. It's just, it's just is what it is. I don't think I've ever found March 7th voice annoying. Yeah, I know you like March 7th. I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. We've talked about this before. Um, I, I just, I just do. It's the same, it was the same with Pylon. It's the same with March. You plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes. I plead guilty. I wish I had. I like honestly. In Genshin, I have my main account when I was originally playing that account. I wish I had picked the Traveler, and in this game, I actually wish I had ended up picking a uh, female Trailblazer because she is actually just better. You sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on two hundred and fifty Nosewalker cubs. Damn. Damn. You plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly papa pies. And because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving. You plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. Ahem! Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the express databank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glass. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise and a break in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. Perhaps it is, but I won't make any explanatory. Only. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Sorry, I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. <sighs> who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. Damn, yeah, no, nah, that guy, frankly, yeah, that guy, that guy is the worst nameless ever. If he blew the fucking train into two pieces. Terrible. You're doing fine. That's all for the content of this dream project. How was your experience? <laughs> this dream bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. <laughs> It's 
hundred thousand credits. Fuck it. I got plenty of credits. Plus, I got technically I got a ten thousand credit discount because Adventuring just gave me ten thousand credits. Uh, I think it would have been more funny if it had cost like the exact amount that Adventuring gives you. You can use it to decorate your dreamscape paths and commemorate your unique trip to Tentacle. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. True. She went that way. Get her! What's going on? What's all the commotion about? You disturbing this lady? Don't even think about running away. You stowaway. Stowaway. Ooh, I like her eyes. This. Funny I thought this was Robin. Everybody talks about Robin. I thought this originally was the design for Robin. I have Sorry no idea who this is. You. Please, I need your help. How can I help? Hey, look. She has an accomplice. Ha! Good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. Interesting enemies. Some value, I suppose. Existence is unity. May as well kill them all. Oh, I forgot to re-equip Kafka with her regular gear. I need, I need to do that. She's currently on her break. Her break set. That's enough, boys. Well, his voice is also not what I was expecting. Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who, who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh. He's the officer, sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. Why? We're sure she's the Why does she look suspicious? Because she has an actual character design? Unlike you, you idiot! That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair. And you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? Um. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, sir. I mean, it's fine. Not what I expected. It's fine. But he should have been a little bit more, um, a little gruffer. Also, lad, um, silver hair. My main character right there. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. I don't dislike it, but I was expecting rougher, you know, deeper. I mean, I gotta ask. I'm standing right in front of him. Bloodhound family are guards of the dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include a game. Why do you even? Why do you elite. even like have me? Like some hard boiled detective voice. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Why do you even give me an, like have me ask a question if you're not gonna answer the thing that I ask? You're just gonna say the answer to another thing on the list. Like, why even bother? We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities Fine. around the They'll get to it eventually. To sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. Huh? Unless they don't consider my hair silver. They might consider it gray. Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? All right, buddy. I saw her first. <laughs> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. 
I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. <sighs> I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. I'm Thank happy to you help. So much. My help didn't come free. <laughs> by the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this How did you notice? What about me screams, I'm a nameless? Yeah, how are the are the neighbors really that famous? <laughs> you bet. The Interastral Peace broadcast recently did a whole segment about your glorious achievements. Hmm. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway. Firefly, I'm that's a local. She is. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. Cool. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. I'm much more happy to okay. walk around with Firefly it's than I would be with Mark. Idea to get to know about this, place. So, this is great. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. Hmm. You can come back for them next time. Nice. Just outside the mall is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. Have you eaten the dream? Does it sustain you in real life? That's the question. Mike. Give him a kid's meal. <laughs> We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. No, I have never heard that phrase before. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic soul glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today it's my treat. <laughs> You're welcome. Firefly's budget. Huh? Probably wants to fly out a new order to the Irish family. Use it wisely. It's someone else's money after all. I mean, okay. This is this is Pentagon's most iconic dish. Take your pick, it's my treat. Everything. Oak cake rolls. Clock pizza hole. Float disc burger. Potato fries sundae. That actually upon use grants all as a random defect effect. From the falling for the next battle, deals 50% more ice damage to increase fire rate. Of the Strictly, the potato fry sundae is not merely a food, but a unique culinary experience that can only be realized with the dream world. In this realm, potato fries never go soft because of cooling down, and the ice cream never melts because of warming up. Cold and heat achieve perfect harmony here. Oh, we'll get the potato fries. Um. Burns is named for the crunchy disc shaped flaky chip nestled between the buns, and only a few individuals can consume it in a dignified way. In certain taverns, firing a float disc burger, using your hands become somewhat of a legendary challenge. Why is it that some Halloweenians always find fault with the appearance? So let's see. Yeah, this is nine. Da, 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 15. So you actually can buy everything. I mean. I mean. I mean. She said to try and not hold back. You know what? Fuck it. I wonder if there's an achievement. <laughs> That's terrible. She's like, yeah, buy whatever you want. Okay. 
fucking main protagonist of this up like luffy style just eat everything i'm kind of tempted to do i don't want to spend all our money though that just seems mean so we'll go with uh the fries and a burger what is this pika white grape soda you know what that's what i'm gonna do a burger and a drink i feel like that's the standard you know a side a burger and a drink and i'm good there you go sounds all good are you done ordering then i'll pay up i love their oat cake rolls i get one from here every day well that's why i only have one per day let's walk while we eat it's time to head to the next stop let's go give him a kid's meal <laughs> oh my god the pop in Luxury store I told you about earlier. Not premium. Oh my god. We know what's great about this? Oh, she just got hit. Is that she is fast Over enough here. with the walk animation? Which is actually fantastic. I'm actually okay with this. Totally Please fine with come this. this way. Let me show you something. If she doesn't get too far ahead. She never falls behind. Look, Absolutely perfect. Best escort quest in the world. Penagoni's famous cartoon character. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penagoni. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Is that so? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penacony, the founder of the Dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Penacony as a prisoner. And some speculate that, that would make it sense since it was a prison person, planet. Just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess. But everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penacony in droves. They held feast after feast. Eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Panacone knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Possibly. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless... Wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? <laughs> My pleasure. Here, give me your phone. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Help! Help me! Cry for help. The cry that's coming from Clocky's eyelashes. Huh? What's that? It looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Beginning, begging me pulled out, which feels a little too much like a dream. You want a photo with him? Sure. There you go. It's done. It came out great.
chirp. After lighting out an adorable chirp, the bird flies away. The reward. The main thing is that you need to go to the tree first. Perhaps you can meet with it again there. See just exactly what the nice is thing is. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? Hold on. She didn't even notice? Interesting. We're at a bird with sharp edges and points. A bird with sharp edges and points. <laughs> she makes me sound like I'm crazy. <laughs> I think I saw it. Yep. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. You know, there are certain tones and inflections. Is she the, is it the same voice actress as Hook? Huh. Oh. Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. Has a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. <sighs> Ow. I should have just locked up. Ooh. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater Don't to welcome like okay. the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. Mirai and Simon Arian Genshin. Mirai, Mirai. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. And here we are. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Fest. Oops. Next, I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. Oh, okay. guys. <sighs> that place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. Oh yeah, so this crowded. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Idine, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dreamleaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacony's dreamscape. Interesting. Now, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Okay. Reason that fleeting moment you notice the cautious shift in the girl's gaze piercing directly into your brow, a prep somewhere behind you. What's up? I'm just Can I you. for no one. Let me show you around. Are we running away from people still? Is that what's going on here? Oh my See god, the pop is. instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacony? Many objects and facilities have gained self awareness due to the influence of the memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Her voice is great. What are you talking about? Though, sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories. And, uh,. Transform into the destructive That's great. dream jolt troop. <laughs> I've said this many times. I do not subscribe to the idea that everything ever is better in Japanese or Chinese. And I think it's a stupid hey, notion. There's a ride attendant over there. Let me get some ID and tokens for you. With those? I'm skipping dialogue. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacle. May I get some ID and tokens for him? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Name. 
Here's your dreamscape pass and token. How many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Panacone to the fullest. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Let's do it. Let me see which one should we try first. Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The Dreamy Slots and Lucky Wheel are pretty straightforward. Play Dreamy Slots. Cool. Super big prize. Awesome. Insert token. Gamba in my Gamba game. Damn. They're so obviously all slot machines fire probably they're not easy nor hard, yeah. funny about this is the fact that not only is it Gamba, it's Gamba then in between which one you get. That's funny. Alright, what other games are there? This is play Golden Capsule. It's you have a chance to win it's showtime? Or clocky? Damn. A stack of trick. Every stack of trick increases the worst damage that we're stacking up. Every time soon, one turn when there is a free terrain, it's even higher, increase double turn percent. Nice. But what's taking Firefly so long? Huh? She's heading towards the bar? I mean. I'm gonna roll this war if I can get like ones, yeah. I need unopened rewards first. That is a massive waste of time, by the way. Just don't don't do that to me. That's terrible. Insert token. Yeah, I mean all my tokens are going here now. I'm just gonna try it. Yeah, get lucky. Pro tip, don't roll. Find fire fire, bring the sightseeing to an end. Where is she? The one. Please do not hit the entertainment facilities. Where did she go? Where did she go? Oh, she's over there. Is that guy throwing up? Hold on. Hank. I thought that drowning 40 bottles of soul glad back time. I feel like this it feels absolutely amazing. I have to know this feeling down. You over there, do you want to join the party? You don't look so good. Don't worry about me. I'm just a little overexcited inside a dream. Drinking soul glad doesn't harm your body. Plus, I'm dancing. I'm a golden hour's most legendary party goer. You think a bit of fun is enough to take me out? You can tell by my Pepeshi entourage that I'm a biggest party goer around. There's no form of entertainment penny that I wouldn't dare try. If you are willing to become my fan or my party partner, and more besides, I can share my endless. Adian tokens with you, so you can play to your heart's content inside the dream. Well, pretty tempting, right? All right, I'll do it. Okay, from now on, we are ride or die party partners. Come drink the soul glados and brace syrupism together. Let me see what you got, buddy. Oh, cool. He has more tokens. Fuck yeah. Give me those tokens. And songs. Give me these songs. Hell yeah, let's go. And it resupplies every week. Awesome. Thank you, Pharaoh. How are those going? What do you say? I'm a bit tired too. What? Did you have fun? Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? 
I know, right? It's a dream that's loving and forgiving to- It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. Are you humble? I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place. <gasps> Is she stuck in the dream? I am. At least for now. I don't think that's how locals work. Hey, can you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Did you travel here alone? No. Oh, I see. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not. I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Someone is following us. Well, someone's been following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. God. I swear to God. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. I swear to God. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter, the covert kind. He has large oh, palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. Maybe this means that I'll get sparkle. You know what? It's fine. It means I'll get sparkle. Like a short sword or dagger. Just I I I'm smiling and I'm laughing because I'm just like ah why this motherfucker. Do you know anybody no. like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Please go away. I know my I know my chat is like yeah I saw this coming and that's that's <sighs> can I have adventuring back adventuring please ah, he's coming our way hey well if it isn't my most loyal customer the trailblazer guy his shoulder pad is very similar to Acheron's I will give you that yes and seeing it again right here yes Such a long time, old friend. If he's not a masked fool, he could be. He could be also be a ranger. No, I wouldn't mind it. You think he's part of the masked fools? He could actually be a ranger. Oh my! I'm in luck today. Sampo? Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. You're surprised to see me. <laughs> You know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help your L06 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog. I love this arc now. Best arc. Get out. Get out of here. Go. You don't even play this game anymore. You don't care anymore. What do you mean? We can play the game anymore. There's a firefly. She's my tour guide. You should get your eyesight checked. Are you sure Marsha will with us? You should want to get your account back? Too late. It's mine now. It's mine now. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sampo, and I'm an old pal of his. Since when did I acknowledge you as my oh, friend? Uh, don't be like that. You're making things awkward. Like I was told, tone just changes. No, I'm not making things awkward. You're making things awkward. Go the fuck away. Mr. Sampo. Nobody wants That's you. Nobody wants to play to you. Go out. away. Go away. My purpose. <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, 
Old pal, since fate brings us here... She's giving me twerk. I don't need you to give me a twerk. Go away. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penicone well. But when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. I mean... What are we talking about here? <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? What are we talking about? What kind of grown-ups are we talking about here? What Looks kind of entertainment like are we talking about analysis here? analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Damn, this guy is terrible. Well, uh, Mr. Sampo. Don't call him Mr. Anything Sampo. bothering you, Miss Firefly? But real quick, Don't let me go back worry. over here. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Yeah, right. I don't like how I have to walk over here, collect or think. As mi as much as this game tries to make things convenient for you, time sometimes it's like really. You should make me have to open up the screen, exit the screen, play five times in a row. Oh, well, shit. Yeah, let's go. Never mind. I was just wrong. Clearly, I was just wrong. Wait, does the five times in a row, like, just only get you one from one spot? That's kind of terrible. I don't know. Give me the light cone. Gamba in my Gamba game. Let's go. Thought so at first. I don't think so. Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't really paying attention to what I got, so... Hopefully not. Alright, I spent all my tokens moving on. Are we gonna meet Sparkle? I wanna meet Sparkle. Where's Sparkle? You can see was different the small one. Gotcha. Takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? He is not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Like sample here. Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Man, I don't know. Click, select plate, expand energy. Back to the plate. <laughs> the plate is active for you. Can set to rotation direction. You cannot activate any more plates, but you do not have energy low. Click or set to reset all plates. Can get the check to the connects the pinball launchers. And then closing or rotating the plates when the train is complete, you can watch Pinball Research when you use the machine in the crowd. Plates are fully saved. And we could have just walked over there. I guess it would probably take longer. That's kind of cool. I like it. Is this uh, the lower level of the commercial district? Bingo! Destination is right. This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people, or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. Kill me. You. You here 
to relax? Right. I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? I am not sold on this. Mm. How many of you? Can you not see? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Listen, you little pipsqueak. Well, seems like we can't go in. Good. Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. Just a few intense emotions. Mm -hmm. As far as how we'll use the secret code, just wait and see. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. All right, let's sneak in while the bodyguard is not guarding the door. Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said, do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. on the side of the road. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. This fine machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of You know, they're called arcade games. They don't just, you just, I don't think you just call them arcades. I mean, I could be wrong. These are called arcade machines or something along those lines. I don't think you just call it an arcade. I don't know. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? I ain't touching shit of yours, Sampo. Nothing. Why don't you try it yourself? you enjoy this first-hand experience <laughs> of course it's just a suggestion if you aren't up for it uh, I'll do it myself almost think the two almost single in gates for your brows more precisely it was three of them include the guy with the trembling oversized nose and sunglasses on the screen now it's time to make a choice so do you want to take a chance to touch the television to see what I'm doing but no really Well, at least they were honest about the lack of choice. <laughs> oh my. Wait, what? Why did you turn into this thing? I refuse. Oh. You look so... You got swag now, pal. So, how did he turn into that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now. Look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do... Ooh, here it says, 
Enter the door to start your advent. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> um. This game. As a design our arcade game, Pango Dreamscape, able to live the guests play, cartoon characters haunting through the transform device and experience a miraculous adventure in the corner of Dreamscape. In the story of Honda's adventure, he was made smaller by Boston's strange device. He then had to experience a grand adventure with a small body and take back treasure Boston local the town. Variable with like sharp bars are hidden under Honda's sunglasses to use the button to activate the Sonic vision to absorb the tools that can be utilized and try to find the hidden treasure. Cool. All right, later, Ken. Your thoughts on what came next on Discord? Yeah, we'll do. I think it's gonna be like one of the mini games that you find on maps probably, I would imagine. Superb idea, sir. Let um, what's going on? This is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. Emotion prototypes. 
I'll be able to turn them into customized dream worlds that can be experienced repeatedly. Interesting. It's a way to pass exactly. messages. Looks like you've got the picture. You've probably woken up for a dream I wished I could have can Miss Firefly. I admire your eagerness. I trust you have prepared all the necessary material. Your donation is appreciated. The retrieval. It's ready. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the tree. Jump on in, friend. Ugh, where's this? Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? This is part of my dreamscape. Bellabog is the setting for this dream. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should. Was this fucking Inception now? Is this another note? Become the garbage king. The trash bags have long been. Uh... Oh, I have no idea. Stop nitpicking the details. If you have... huh? Okay, I immediately don't care. I immediately do not care. I finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go. Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. Didn't they say that... Uh, have I... Hehehehe <laughs> 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 
I don't know. You tell me, game. You tell me. Mm. What? A bummer. I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the garbage king. What a huge pity. Such a me. I was looking forward to seeing your face. Hint at? No. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream... Don't you think this dream bubble looks real... A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. You're not at home anymore, kid. You want yeah, no shit. the depths of the end. Same as always, pal. If you still... Is that girl still... She claims to be a local, but... Doesn't know how this world works. All she's got. You better hurry up and confront her if you have any. See you around, pal. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? That's cool. I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. Demanding an explanation for her? Why would she be suspicious? I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Don't care. There are things I I'm figured. not local, and there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. Okay. <laughs> but still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Cool. And and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds. Maybe hey, she's a descendant of one of the previous nameless. All sorts of things. <sighs> Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It, it's my very own secret base. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Sure. Thanks. Playing on Star Rail, going through the new main story of Panacone. I I want to point out huh? that that Sampo bit did need to be there. Tick 
great friend, my friend Misha, is in trouble. Huh. Well, are you gonna help this son? I mean, I'm gonna help him. In fact, I wish we had already gone and helped him instead of gone through the sequence. Can happen in the game. Tick tock, tick tock, Misha's in trouble. He's over the, the name of Misha rings a bell to me. Why do I keep forgetting Misha? Like I didn't just talk to him like two seconds ago. That's uh, Akron again. Everyone, please stay calm. You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Gangster boss. Okay, the shoulder pad is kind of similar, but not not similar enough. Now getting a look at a good look at hers again. It's just a shoulder pad. How did it come to this? Though she does have a similar design. Uh, do you know her? See? I wasn't lying! Misha really is in trouble! TikTok, I'm begging you! Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Huh. I'm really curious. This suddenly became such a drag. It was moving at good pace, and now it's just such a drag. I'm just too fucking old. I don't know. I I I I I, I literally am just like why? Why? Have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong. I'm gonna make him sad. Yes. Great. It means you mastered the art of clockwork. <laughs> What's wrong with Wallace? Oh, oh, he's crying so hard. <laughs> Is it your fault? I just, what do we do now? Do we do? Whoa! Things are turning into a mess. But then again. Yes, yes. Boss. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? He's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about him before. Ring a bell? Oh, it's him! Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten no problem, time, Misha. I, I don't see how Clockwork can have used that power, but okay. Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. I'm surprised you figured out how to actually get into the dreamscape, Miss. I don't know directions. Very Zoro of her. About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady uh, your friend, too? <laughs> well, we've only met each other once before, but he is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. <laughs> yeah, when you barged in and forgot where you it's were going. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. Oh, God. Okay. Beautiful lady? By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional. Don't know. 
about that too. Cloggy taught me some clockwork. Clocky. Yes, that cartoon character. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only, only honest honest people with I can't. childlike innocence. I just innocence can't. This is that. so terrible. This is just. This is. This is. This is just. It seems like I'm too old. Yep, to I'm right there with you, Akron. I'm too old to qualify for this bullshit right now. If Clocky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. You see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream. Probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. Interesting. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Shortly after either. we parted ways, I wandered into a ball without realizing it. A lady wearing a black veil invited me to dance. <laughs> it was my first dance, and it was an unforgettable experience. It's a shame I'll that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Oh, Garden Black Swan. She danced with Black Swan. All right, so Agron is in women. Okay, cool. We got it. Garden of Recollection. Huh. Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Yep. Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that? Yeah, and Clocky could be a. Uh, After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagine. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your date. <laughs> no, we're not on a date. <laughs> I mean, you have to deny it so hard, Firefly. I'm just saying. Well, I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I'll let you get back to your beeswax. <laughs> I really I... appreciate your help. The nameless are indeed a bunch of talented May people. May our paths cross again, May indeed, buddy. May our paths buddy. cross again. Tick tock. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Me too. You know how to use clockwork to turn your own different emotions to different surprises. You can use clockwork with any clock you mark on the other edge. Sure. Cool. Can we go now? God, like, I, 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 there are just like, look, I'm sorry. These sorts of things just, do, I just do not find like amusing. I just find them as distractions. I think, I think it uh, messes up the pacing. And they did this in La, in the Laofu as well. And they do it in Genshin. I don't know what it is about there. Like, they decide to break up moments with like levity. I guess is what they try to do, or just try to be funny, or just try to inject a little bit of humor. Or just to like them, but so you get on a train of thought and it just stops for like a random moment that like I get that there's like a piece that's important in there because Akron's there, but it could just be delivered in a better way. And I just don't like the way they decide to deliver it, basically. It's not really my thing. It irritates me. The sample part, could have done without with. That part, I could have done without with. But I get that they want to do this clocky clockwork kind of thing. So I, I get why they're doing it. I just, you know, I don't have to like it. Secret stronghold is a a cafe. Here we are. This is the place. No, uh, it isn't. This is. Yes, it's right inside. Just the literal meaning. <laughs> Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. Okay. Sparkle. Mm. Hey, let me ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? 
You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. I love her voice. To be more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Ugh, spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I was ex so I was expecting her to end up having a more cutesy voice. She actually has a more like, I don't know, mature voice, which I I'm, I'm here for this. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Dreamville is frivolous, vain, and flashy. And that suits me just fine. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, this guy. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. I do love the van. Yeah, I love the vanity of this dude. <laughs> really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Penacony? Don't drag me into your banal office politics. Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. Chicken wing boy. <laughs> Damn. Damn, she did not waste time in just gutting Sunday. Just... His guts all over the fucking floor. Chicken wing boy. How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? I love her energy. Friends. Oh, please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Yep. Cause she, so she's part of the mass fools, right? Which is aha, the jokesters, the the the. They always have the you know they always have the last laugh. They've got a plan, or or they don't have a plan. Basically, I I am super here for it. She does have the the big uh big bitch energy. I'll give her that. Yes, she does. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone. Why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> so long. I'm here for it. Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. <sighs> so how about you try to debate like a prankster? What a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family yep. again. You lost that exchange, my friend, my guy. Sparkle is a character I'll be playing for next. Um, and then Adventuring is the one I'll be playing for. But I, don't, I still don't know about Acheron. We're almost there. I guess this is the tree I'm talking about. Okay. 
This place is breathtaking, isn't it? Yes. Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Don't worry. This place isn't dangerous. Just, um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. My secret stronghold is in this area. Let's sneak inside. Sure. Guests are spoiled. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Drat! We're caught right away. Could you... Uh, please make an exception? We're not gonna cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the Dreamers are allowed here. Dreamweavers. He won't budge. Who? Eh, never heard of him. I wouldn't let you in even if the Dream Master were here. None of your tricks are going to work. <sighs> Seems like you... Perhaps... Clocky's... Clocky power trick can... None of your tricks are going to work. I'm just gonna make him sad again. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn everybody sad. If I'm gonna do this, if I'm gonna have to do this, I'm gonna make everybody fucking sad and miserable. Uh, honored guests. Welcome to Penacony. I'm a member of the Bloodhound family. And my job is maintaining order in the dreamscape. In fact, no danger will arise under the family's protection, which makes my job redundant damn even a trash can is more important than me true well, i am the danger but trash cans are important i like them don't say oh. so far. sorry about that i i just can't help myself anyway please just give me some privacy you two should enjoy this fun and exciting dreamscape instead of <laughs> <laughs> Talking to someone who is worse than a trash can. <laughs> oh, 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 no way. <laughs> this, there's little dignity left in me. Damn it. Uh, sure enough, you guys can force your way through, but... I feel really bad. I don't. This, if you can live with it, try- Oh my god! Damn! Try giving him what he wants. That is if you can live with it. Damn! That got dark so fast. Alright, kill him if you want. That's funny. Alright, let's uh, we'll, we'll- Provoking, which means you probably need to make him angry. Let's make him angry. Many times do I have to repeat myself? Ugh. Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? Ugh, you're asking for it. Oh, and I wouldn't be so you fear for nothing just because you're uh, uh, cool fight. Cool fight, let's go. Turn out your pockets. Every petal in my oh, will be swept away by the wind. I can live with it now. I provoked him. I don't know. I this is a weird sequence. <laughs> You turn on. Say bye to breathing. Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. Boom. Darn it! If I had had that power. Mm -hmm. All right. But it seems yep. like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too. Never imagined that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. Me either. Kinda. That trick of Clocky really is amazing. The path ends here. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the Dreamer's tools. What happens next is going to blow your mind. Dreamweave. Incredible way. Action Mother, I'm not a part of the additional version of the scene. Action Mother, I'm going to go into action.
different points in space are linked together? Now we can go to the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? Yes, it is, actually. We can use the building materials that are floating around in the... Okay, the device allows to explain dream modules in the trajectory. Use your options to rotate and move the module on set trajectory. building from here but it requires a device I remember it's Pose holy dream jigsaws may appear anywhere in Pentacony complain the jigsaws will make the object will end up here in the dreamscape place in the correct position from the frames hidden here That is pretty cool. Let's go. See what's down here. No more stuff, more puzzles. Okay. Um, back over? Supposed to get there again? Confused. When the fire raised the gems of the dreams edge. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, here we go. Yeah. It put this all back into place so that I could then rotate it with this. Got it. Duh. That makes more sense. Where's the plates? Hmm. I 
have to put on my thinking cap. What is this? It radiates dazzling light perpetually, just like this glamorous dream. I suppose everyone who likes to bask in the light will be drawn to that kind of warmth. My countless fireflies chasing the fire. Let's go. Half the journey is still ahead of us. Cool. I wonder whether I can still... Yeah, that definitely messes with my, uh, my head. The family it's gonna give me a headache, I'm not gonna lie. Artists, architects, and scholars from across the universe to form the team of dreamers that built the dream of Pentacony. These areas are not developed yet, so guests don't come here. It's not as lively as the town center here, but dialogue finish. I relish the serene atmosphere. Alex, it's the same routine. You've mastered it, right? Create the scattered people. Oh, what? Is it because I've gone for too long without drinking so glad? Or who's why are Uplift. Today, check it out. It's you enchanting. It's supposed to great view. You can see all the gold now from here. You know, you know, it's not, it's not voice hunter. Happy gear. Cool. I see. You have to absorb emotions from others and then put them in inside of the people. This is interesting. Okay, can't be tuned. Attain the acquired gear using emotional absorption by exploring the dreamscape. All of them tick tock. Cool. Awesome. I will definitely have to keep an eye out for that, for that achievement. Was the other puzzle piece so taken away by it? Does that hurt? Human body is beautiful in its fragility. Calm down, Kafka.
Let's take it back first. Let's go over here and grab this. Oh, there we go. They did puzzles like this in uh, Genshin once for an event. Um, those, they were pretty fun. I, I'm, I'm okay with like these optical illusion puzzles. These are pretty cool. You say that. How is your secret place so far in here? Hmm. Um, this area wasn't guarded the last time I was here. Uh, half my frequent comings and goings started trying to. Dinosaur chef. I don't think we can get around them. Knocking. Let's get rid of them. Everyone's a customer. Oh, cool. All the elements. Say bye to breathing. Forget your wallet? Stand still. I'm scared. Straight point. Time to say bye. Boom. I don't know that number counter. This is the place. I think I built her break apart. Yeah. Music. Someone's singing. Where is the sound coming from? Hey, Fireflies, the real singer. Not Robin. Robin's a fake. Have you heard of this song? It's called If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Germany Festival is drawing close. Okay. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's oh, wow. Far away That's cool. from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery, the people, and the dreams, without being disturbed by anyone. Well, I can finally kill you! How beautiful. <laughs> Time is frozen That's a cool shot. this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern, and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the wandering ranger, and the IPC ambassador. The Astral Express Nameless. And me. Everyone falls asleep here equally. Regardless of our different agendas. <sighs> Maybe she works for her. I'm sorry. What's his face? I really am a stowaway. Yeah. I knew I couldn't hide it from you. It was super. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, fair. My home. 
hometown was destroyed a long time ago. No further hesitation. <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm. But mm -hmm. I I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like many of the Pentaconi locals. The Harmony accepts everyone. Including wanderers from afar. The family takes them in, but they don't... They don't belong here. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Pentaconi, but... Some have dreams... That are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away, and the process is barely noticeable to others. You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because... They have all been shattered. So how can I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Just like this moment. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least, I really hope things don't turn out that way. I hope so too. Thanks. In my dream, I saw a scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water, and the future that you don't want to face will never come. Why do people choose to sleep? I think it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, 
Let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. No, nah, you don't need to lighten the mood. It's all good. Don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? You're not gonna get me game. Nope. I'm gonna keep it in. I'm gonna rein it in. Mm -mm. Coffee. Well, we can't really make that here. Aren't there other crew members? I know which one you want me to say, but I'm not. I refuse, game. I refuse. Spray can? That's rough. Perhaps there's something else we can do? Jokes. Oh, um, I, I don't... I, I refuse. Sense of humor. Uh. Perhaps we can think of another way? I have been trying to do that, <laughs> but I think I failed. Maybe they Fine. There was never a choice. Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times. Why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. Sure. I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. So to chase the Wait, let me get ready. I'm good. Let's do this. One, two, say cheese. Nice. Took a screenshot of it. They give you plenty of time, too. Nice. Lots of fun, sure, but something feels odd. It doesn't feel very real. It's odd. I can't describe it. We're in the dream, after all. Without wearing a plaster head sculpture at the auction, he walked off without doing anything. He was pretty suspicious. Story is a bit complicated. It's best if we meet up face to face. Me, too. Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. She's going to be gone, by the way. Oh, Do you sorry. have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on. Let's say goodbye, Golden Hour. Yep. Okay, and I think that is actually where I'm going to stop for the day. I think that's a good stopping point for um, for the day's today's stream. We recorded about almost four hours. Yeah, I'm gonna have to edit that down at some point, and I'll put that up on the YouTube's. So, um, my thoughts. My th I, I kind of want to gather my thoughts right now where we're at in the story because I feel like we're about to hit the next, you know, the next the next arc here. Um. A rail into the stars. See how shooting stars fly across the dream sky. Learn five ways secret of the dream's edge. Yeah. I mean, we didn't really, still didn't really learn her secret. I mean, she has a deadly disease that is like slowly, basically killing her. And, um, and, but, but I guess that's the secret. We don't really know who she is still. But, so, uh, I'm gonna break it, I'll break it down. Um, Acheron in the beginning, really cool. I really like Acheron. I'm, I'm super curious what all the text and dialogue with her is. She may even also have ELS. Hmm. Um, that would make sense as to why she has issues <laughs> with the, the differences between like what's happening and all that stuff. It could, could be a possibility. Um, and then I like all the stuff with Aventurine. Aventurine is absolutely one of the percent one of the highlights. Um, uh, I feel like he could start to wear on myself and or other people. Um, uh, a little bit, but I, I, so far I'm, 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 I'm enjoying him a lot. Uh, I love the little bit with Sparkle. Absolutely fantastic, uh, with her character there. I was, that was a good characterization. I just, I really like it. I'm super looking forward to finding out more about her. Um, I liked having, I like having Walt and Himiko there. I like how little March 7th actually has actually been in this. Firefly was nice. I like traveling around with Firefly. Um, you may have noticed that I was really quiet during all that section of the quest because it just it 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 hits it hits right here it hits at home you know my mom passed away uh, last year um, 
from well, her heart gave out basically but you know she had been dealing with uh kidney failure for years and it had done a lot of things to her so it's not it's not it's not easy uh being around um being around that kind of stuff uh so that kind of hit that hit that hit a little hard for me as 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 it would for most people i think who've either experienced or are going through something like that any kind of terminal um disease can be very hard on everybody not just the person obviously going through it um so that was that was good and it was set up right they had the music they had the emotions they had the, the epic moment where you go up to the start it kind of reminded me of an anime called your lie in april if you've never watched that anime i mean spoilers obviously it's a very similar story so you can take from that what you will um but it's a very good anime and you should watch it if you have it um if you can take if you can take some sadness and um, yeah, that's what it reminded me. Firefly definitely reminded me of the main female character in that, so that actually was uh, tracking a little bit. But I, I reined it in. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't shed any tears. My eyes got a little, a little strained, but I'm good. I'm good. And uh, yeah, I think I think opening wise they did great. Um, the only thing I didn't like, and I know I'm going to be in the minority on this, is Sampo stuff with the trash can. I just, I just don't find it funny. You know, I just it 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 just it just it just. It breaks me out of the story every time. Um, it was just annoying. Even the clocky bits felt more as part of the story than than that. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I think that's going to be the end of uh, this recording. And it'll probably end up being the end of my stream. So if you're on YouTube watching this, thank you very much for watching this. And if you like this type of content and you want to see more of it, please let me know down in the comments. Please leave a like. Remember to subscribe. All that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Later.